Do you ever wonder how you could possibly create your own lettering style? Are you struggling with comparing yourself to others? I'm so glad you're here. Join me in creating your own confident lettering style with this YouTube series called 26 Ways to Letter. Hey friends, I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This video is all about letter K. I'll be using the Kiritaki Zig Fudibuori brush pens. I really like these brush pens. I got these ones from Jet Pens. You can also get them in a pack on Amazon. On Jet Pens, it's cool because you can choose the individual colors separately. This is a page for my workbook, Fearless Lettering. I will link to that if you are interested. Also, I have a free mini course that goes into more detail of creating your confident style, so I'll link to that as well. K is a letter that is difficult for most people. The reason is that most of the strokes are downstrokes, and so it's easy to make it look really thick everywhere just because all of the strokes are basically going down. So I'm giving you some ideas here. It's actually really fun <laughs> when you get into it and start playing around with a different size. So that loop on the top, you can make it any different size. It doesn't even have to be a loop. It could be straight like this one right here. It's also okay when you letter the K that the strokes on the side are not as thick as the main downstroke. Normally, you want all of your downstrokes to be the same width. Well, with the K, if you don't thicken that end stroke, that's okay because you have so many thick strokes, you don't want it to be too overbearing. So one way to help with this is to focus on letting your K breathe, making sure it's not so squished that it can't breathe. So play around with the different spacing, the shape, the size, focus on the little details. Uppercase K is a little bit more tricky, but there's a lot of flourishes you could add. Change up where the strokes on the right side connect to the left downstroke. Do they connect really high? Do they connect really low? And this K right here is really tall and skinny. So think about how that would fit with your word or composition of your quote. You might see a K that you really like, but it just doesn't fit with your word or your composition. Don't be afraid to change it up and try something different. That's what makes your style unique. You can even add in an extra little loop. You might want your K to be really curvy or maybe really straight. This one, you can see the downstroke on the left side is a lot thicker than the right side strokes. They're not thick at all, and that's okay. And look at that very last stroke. Some of these, it goes straight out to the side like these ones. Some of them, it goes down a little ways before going straight out. Think about, is that stroke going to connect to your next letter or does it end on its own? So really, there are so many different things you can do with a K and it still looks like a K because there's so many elements to it. So now that you have these ideas from me, I hope that helps you to get creative. Get a blank piece of paper and just start coming up with as many different Ks as you can think of. And for the word with K, I decided to letter no, as in I know you, or I know how to letter K. <laughs> We can always be learning more. The more we know, the better we're going to be able to create our own style and create something that is unique to us. So that's why it's so important to always be learning, always be open to seeing what other people are doing and learn from them. We also learn a lot just by doing. So you can watch this video and learn what I have to say, but you're not actually going to know how to do it until you just do it yourself. Thank you for watching this 26 ways to letter series. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you next time.